Hi, this is episode 15 and I'm doing NFP news update. Well, this news, there was something else. Uh, if you were caught up selling anything with USD, you have been whipped. <laughs> Don't worry, even me, I have been whipped. And is it, it is what it is. You have to learn the mistakes you have done. The structure and everything, but the NFP news was not so many pips because like for GBP USD, it has only got got uh, up with 72 pips. And then we have another news at 5 p.m. So we don't know how this market will go. But I will do the I will do the GBP USD, Euro USD, NZD, USD, out USD pairs. And let's see if we had a hands up. Something like GBP USD, you remember us having this double top? You see this double top? It never gave us an entry, guys. I kept telling you, let's wait for this uh, market to give us an entry. And the order I had given you, I told you to cancel it. And I think I did a post telling you, cancel because we have news on Wednesday. I posted the order I had given on GBPUSD. So GBPUSD, I'm not expecting you are in. But uh, according to the structure, the sell, it's like it, it just refused to to cooperate so the this double top we were waiting for a bearish engulf and we didn't get and the market kept uh ranging for a while so gbpusd didn't have an entry and i remember doing that analysis telling you we might have a cup and handle if the market breaks above so even if i come here and analyze guys you are supposed to be charge of your account in charge of your trades. For me, I'm sharing my thoughts and I cannot be always right. But it will be very, very, um, it is bad to come here and tell you, um, to come here and try to paint a picture that I'm perfect. I'm not, I might analyze the charts and they fail. For me, what I have that is very strong and you cannot take out of me, is the power to continue and the power to always be available. When I'm, when I'm down or when I analyze the market and it goes against me, that is the time I want to analyze and see what did I miss. So GBPUSD, we, uh, we were not anticipating for in this news for the market to sell because it had not give us uh, it had not given us an entry. Even if on the weekly time frame I have kept saying. This thing is a sell, is a sell. We have not been given any kind of a confirmation from lower time frame. Yes, the market is a sell. And I told you the difference between sell confirmation and entry confirmation is the market can tell you to sell, but you are taken out by the retracement. So the retracement is what takes out people. Retracement is what takes out people. So GBPSD, yes, it will sell, but the question is when, how? So when we go to four hour time frame, this is what we have on the four hour. So this market, um, this market was like this. Let me show you. So this market was like this. And you can see here is where we had put our order. You can see guys, the order was activated and it was in profit. So the order got activated and the market dropped. Now, Whenever your order is activated, the market dropped with 76 pips. If you still hold it, GBPUSD, I don't know why you are holding because it dropped from 25.48 to 25.74.70. To it was around 76 pips. That was good money. And this was a zone area. So maybe the mistake maybe you have done is to re-add a trade whenever it came back in this area. So we will just monitor it and see what the market wants to do because according to the according to this pattern that is here um this market is the buyers are still stronger so unless we see sellers coming in so we are hoping to see sellers coming in or buy continuing because we cannot you know a double top can get us a cup and handle so that was GBPUSD. They didn't confirm the double top. The double top on the daily guided us uh, from this 
cell movement. So this double top guided us. And you see that, uh, and this is why sometimes when you trade with everyone, it is difficult because I can opt to come out before the news, but before I update you to close, it is too late. That's why sometimes you even feel you want us to trade alone because you can make quick decision like closing the trade or adding a trade or you can make many decisions. So GBPUSD had not given us an entry. And for me, I feel like they can continue up if daily will break. So pay attention on the daily, this double top. We, we want, if, the, if these buyers are stronger, we want the market to break. If they break here, if they break here, just know that that market will continue up. So that's on Zoom PSD. Let's come to Euro USD. I think Euro USD is where um, it's where everything changed. <laughs> Euro USD, even if you go to that video, I told you guys that we have this double top that tempted to go to the neckline, and the neckline was and the half was broken. But I told you, even if you 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 watch that video again, I told you whenever half is broken they can still activate a new pattern. So what they did, they activated this double bottom. So this is what you have been working with, but the double bottom seemed to be weak because it came to this area. So don't be too hard on yourself. Oh, the double top did not work. Oh, Euro USD, oh. So the double top, so the, the sellers can still come back at this area. And if they come back to that area, you can close that trade because we had entered around 0 0.700, the half of that, the half of this double bottom. So the mistake we did is when the double bottom broke, you see this big candle, they broke out. Um, they broke out our half, we could have exited. That was the only mistake. So if you are on Euro USD and you don't know why it has bought, it is because of this double top. Comment down below, let me know your views. Are you learning? anything. And you see, there's nothing difficult than teaching live market. If, uh, and that's why I want to do, I want to teach live market because this is live scenario, live something that has happened. So for this market to behave this way, um, and again, let me show you, Euro USD, other brokers, this is how other brokers uh, were looking like. So that is Rwanda. We have Paperstone. So this is how other brokers were looking like. And yeah, it's just consolidated at the half. The half of that double bottom is where the market kept touching. You can see. So the market kept touching this half and got this big rejection. So anyway, in case you are still on this trade, I would urge you to close it just close it because according to our analysis, we, we just assume this double bottom strength and you can see it has more strength. Even if it will come down because the 5 p.m. news can take this market down. So even if it will come down, just exit, just exit. The other trade was Audi USD. So the Audi USD trade uh, I had given at I had given a buy a sell limit at 65.50. This that's why I had given 65.50. And I will tell you why this trade did not work. When we did, it is like GBPOD. Yes, we had an order at 65.50. We had an order there because we are anticipating the market will. It is coming to test this area. And it did, and we got money. So uh, if I, it activated the trade and the trades were in profit, I'll show you. So the market got activated and the trades were in profit. And you see, so that was on, on Thursday, on Thursday morning. So we had a pips of 27 pips. But we got a uh, resistance. So the mistake we did, because I didn't tell you to close that trade, the market broke out. It broke that resistance. That was an exit moment. 
we could have just exited at that area. Because when the market breaks like this, it's a danger. It means buyers are staying in control. So how do you SD and failing to come out, the market has continued up. So that was it, guys, for the news. And the DSD, we were not in the trade. I don't think we were in the trade. And the DSD ahead only analyzed the double top that hit everything. But for the rest of these trades, my I can just add you to always, always pinpoint where you went wrong. Always want to know why you went wrong. Always want to know why did I go wrong and why why did this market uh, turn against me? And that way, guys, you will be able to not repeat the mistakes again. All the best, guys. And I think this is the last time I'm updating all the trades we had. Um, in the next episode 16, I can do something. I can do weekly analysis. I think I'll post those videos tomorrow. So I will do weekly analysis and what we are hoping once I see the candle close. Because right now, it's too early even to say what the market will do. And knowing that we have other news, it is still early to say what the market will, will do. So allow me to allow me to just uh to just end this video here so that I can be able to wait for the next for the next <laughs> candle to close. Don't feel bad. There are people who are texting me, oh, do my account. Don't feel bad. At the end of the day, I am more than willing to work with you in this journey. And that's why next week on Friday, I have that one day masterclass. I have mastered Forex for four years now. And still sometimes you will find yourself doing mistakes. So uh, make sure you pay for that masterclass. It's $12,100. And once you do pay, be ready to learn because there's a lot to learn, guys. There's a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. We have to make money in this industry. Like we have, we literally have to make money in this industry. So let me wait for the 5 p.m. news. I don't know what will happen. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.